So let's start with number one. So with a question like number one, you can ignore the square root for the first part. And we can first put all the x's and the y's together. I mean, the 16 and the 25, we can't do anything with them because 16 does not go into 20, or 25 doesn't go into 16. And there's no number that can go into both, in fact. And so the place we can start would be the x9 at the top and the x3 at the bottom. Well, who can remember what we do with the exponents? Well, because the ones at the top and the ones at the bottom, remember we minus the exponents. And so I'm just going to write the 16 over there. And so 9 minus 3 is 6. Then we can have a look at this y to the power of 12 and this y to the power of 6. Well, we should minus the exponents, and so that just gives us y6. And then at the bottom, we'll just be left with the 25. Now we can incorporate the square root, and so we know that the square root of 16 is 4. Who can remember what to do with this 6 over here? Well, remember there's an imaginary 2 on the outside, and so 6 divided by 2 is 3. And so we can say x to the power of 3, and this 6 divided by 2 is also going to be 3. And then the square root of 25 is 5. Moving on to number 2. 2, so we can ignore the square root for now. Straight away we can see that this negative and this negative, well, they're going to cancel each other or they're going to they're gonna turn into a positive, okay? So we can sort of ignore them now. The 1 and the 16, we can't really do anything for now. But what we can do is see that at the top we have an x2 and an x3. Now what should we do with those exponents? Well, that's going to become x to the power of 5. And then at the top we're still going to have that y4. And then at the bottom, we're still going to have 16xy squared. Notice we've taken away the negatives because they cancelled each other out. Now what we can see is that at the top, we have an x5, and at the bottom, we just have an x. That means that that x over there has an exponent of 1. And so what do we do with these exponents? We minus them, right? And so 5 minus 1 is 4. And so we have x to the power of 4. And then this y to the power of 4 and this y to the power of 2, well, we have to minus the exponents until we end up with y to the power of 2. And then at the bottom, we have 16. Now we can take the square root because remember, over here, there's the number 2. And so if we start off with the x, we can say that it's got an exponent of 4. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So we can say x to the power of 2. And then this y has an exponent of 2, and so we divide it by that 2 over there. And so that's just going to give us y, or y to the power of 1, if you would like. And then the square root of 16 is 4.